Hey right, folks, this is Hulk Rex here, just doing a little bit of uh, update here tonight. I uh, had said earlier in one of my previous videos that uh, eBay has been very good to me. Well, this is what I picked up on eBay. Uh, this was someone else's project that they had started, and it came in the mail, and it was a little beat up is a, I don't know if it was a miscast or something that, um, or some of it was that they tried carving and doing something with it. I'm not sure exactly uh, what they were doing with it, but you know, it came and I assessed the situation and I looked at it and go, well, you know, it's eligible. I can work with this. I have enough stuff laying around here I can, uh, fix some of the problem. Uh, if you've uh, ever seen, well this is a uh, uh, was it Lord of War, Lord of Skulls or something like that. Uh, the chassis, the upper part here which comes you know with the, uh, if you've ever seen it in uh, on the uh, Games Workshop site, you know you got the upper part here which is, if I can pull this off, which is this right here and it has like treads and a big giant set of tanks back here. And uh, where's your head? There's your head. Um, and that that's that all that. It has these these arms that go on here like that. And I'm not sure what they were planning on doing with it, but uh, get in there. There we go. Uh, this arm was all chopped up here in, in a little bit, so. I was like, well, I could fix that. You know, in my previous videos, you seen I had, I made the uh, um, the chariots of corn, those uh, uh, cannons of corn, and one was a uh, blood throne. And this is part of the throne right here. That uh, I don't know if we can see this in the uh, one. This is, oh, maybe it won't focus. Yeah, there we go. This right here was all chopped up, and this is part of the uh, blood throne. So I um, did some carving on this piece, and what I did was that I concaved it with my uh, Dremel, uh, carved a whole bunch out of it, and then I was able to glue it on there with the, you know with the plastic glue, because you know the upper part is the actual plastic uh, kit, and this is down here was a Forge World um, resin legs. I probably haven't announced what this is. This is a Lord of War for uh, the Demon Army, the Kaitan. <clears throat> and it has uh, this um, Gatling cannon here and then it also has this nice big giant axe for the other side so you end up with something that looks like that. When it's done, I'll scrape off the, uh, what do you call it, primer I have on here and it will just glue on nice and easy. But uh, yeah, that's what I got. <clears throat> yeah, throat. So, yeah, I went through and I fixed all the pieces, you know, and I heated these up with some hot water and I just kind of spread them out so, you know, they're, they, they'll hang off there on the, the shoulder pads and yeah, so yeah, it looks kind of cool now. And then I uh, today I made a base for it, you know, with some Sculpey putty, my usual thing where it looks like layered sandstone, and uh, drilled some holes, put some uh, um, nails I clipped off with some uh, clippers, and and drilled out the bottom with the Dremel, and put a drill in there with the Dremel, and this so it just it's attached. And uh, it's not glued in there now, so I can just slide it off. So for when I'm gonna, the paint start painting on this thing over the next couple weeks. So yep, this is the current project I'll be doing at night. And we'll slide the old Kaitan off to the side here and show you some of the other stuff I've been working on. You know, I got the uh, the Stopian Wars project I've been working on, which is the uh, Empire of the Blazing Sun. Uh, that I have a dreadnought here I've been working on. I got the 
couple heavy battleships. There's two of those. Um, these are like battle cruisers. And I got four battleships back over here, which you can see. And so I got all the pieces and everything. I've been working on those. So uh, hopefully tomorrow or by Wednesday, these guys should be done. And I got a big pile of uh, turrets sitting over here that I had finished up too. So yep, that's what we got going on with that. And let's see, we got oh a lot left of the. Uh, my goal is to get it done before Thanksgiving. And uh, if I really hammer down on this stuff, I should probably have her done by then. And barring any uh, family activities that get in the way, which, you know, I know this week my daughter, I have to go up to, she's in college, so I have to go up and get her. And she has an interview. She's a uh, engineering student. And then we're getting a new, I guess it's Tuesday, a week from now. We're putting a new air conditioning furnace, so I'll spend a day that I don't know how much activity I'll get done that day either. And then there's usual other stuff that comes into me. So, but uh, this is what we got going on. So if there's any questions you got or anything, this guy right here, he's going to be corn red. I'm going to do something similar to like I did with those uh, um, corn uh, blood crushers. So it'll be a similar paint scheme with this guy. This will be a lot of brass and red. And with them, a little bit of maybe black or stuff mixed in with there. But uh, yeah, that's what we got going on. And uh, you guys have a good day. And uh, get out there and rid the world of all your unpainted miniatures. Hey, just a question. Here we go. Forgot something. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I've been showing this guy for a long time. Uh, just show the size. This is the Imperial Knight versus a Kaitan. It just shows the difference in size. Kaitan's a lot taller. It's about the same size, similar in size as a uh, Serastus Knight. I think the Serastus Knight's a little bit taller, probably about like that. But uh, yep, that's enough. We'll talk to y'all later. Helker X out.